Hi guys, my name is Luca. I'm a first year master student studying bioengineering and I originally come from Montenegro. Today I'll be answering some of the questions about studies here in Tartu and also life here in Estonia. So let's get started. So um, I'm doing bioengineering and I'm specializing in uh, in cell culture research, so I'm basically doing is programming living organisms to do a function that, to do something that they're not supposed to do. So for example, you can program bacterial cells to produce um, human insulin, or you can, you can program bacterial or yeast cells to produce other valuable things. So um, I would say, yeah, there's a lot of misconceptions about like what bioengineering is, but it's a very broad kind of a, discipline and then you can just choose what you want to what you want to specialize in. I would say my favorite thing it's it's um, the university is really innovative and it's really supporting young people to, to kind of go on and explore and um, try to get their ideas to try to implement their ideas in, in real life and try to like organize some startups. So I'd say the university is paying a lot of attention on that and they're really trying hard to, to get a startup culture going. I would say that here it's um, it, it's very different in a way that um, academic stuff is really open-minded and, and they're more like your friends as opposed to like very strict lecturers or professors. And I also say another major difference, they, they put a lot, a lot of emphasis on practical skills as opposed to just the theory and also another big difference is they really want you to be to kind of have this diverse knowledge in things so they also <clears throat> for example in my program they really want you to it's not just about engineering it's also a lot about programming it's a lot about uh, business administration it's all about marketing so they want you to kind of combine all of these different areas into um, into one so I would say that's that's the main difference so it's not about specializing in one thing but also like learning a lot of other things from from different fields that, that you're definitely going to you're definitely going to need they are so every week you get you, you, you're gonna get a um, kind of a newsletter where they're gonna kind of write about what exchange possibilities and also they're gonna write about the internship possibilities. But I think the best way to get an internship is just to like look for it yourself. And then once you get a suitable internship, you can talk to your program director and then from there on, uh, they should kind of take care of the, of the, if you have to transfer some of the, uh, some of the subjects, or if you're gonna get credits for this internship and also you can always get Erasmus funding for, uh, for, 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 the cost of, uh, for the cost of living during your internship. Um, I'll probably give it a strong nine because uh, the well, there's a couple of things that like come with this. The first one is a uh, you kind of feel a very strong, a strong sense of uh, of unity, and uh, also the second thing is it's um, it's quite um, people are actually quite supportive of you, and they really try to make you feel welcome and try to get you to explore as many things as possible. So I give it a strong nine out of ten. There's a lot of opportunities to go abroad. I think the most common one that people do is Erasmus, but then, oh, then again, there is also a lot of um, um, a lot of people tend to go to the to the United States. There's some some of them have been to Australia, and also a couple of them went to either Russian or Asian universities. So it's quite well linked uh, with uh, with a lot of different universities globally. So I would say that uh, it has quite good um, study abroad opportunities. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different services that are available. So one of them is, as mentioned in the question, is career counseling. So if you're not sure what career you want, what career path you want to take, you, know, you can always talk to someone and they can help you with that. If there's any psychological issues that you might be going through, there's also somebody specialized in, in dealing with these things who can help you with this. Also, if, if you have an idea for a good startup, for example, you can also approach this, the, the idea hub, the startup team, and they can help you uh, well, they can kind of evaluate your startup and then try to help um, kickstart the funding. So there's actually whatever your idea might be or you, whatever the problem you, you, you're facing might be, there, there is always someone that can, that can help you to solve, uh, to solve that. Your thing is just to, to ask for help. That's actually a good question because I do have a part-time job uh, while, I'm, uh, while I'm here in Tartu. 
So uh, the best was actually not that hard. I'm, I'm really lucky with the with the schedule because the place where I work at is really flexible with my with my school schedule. So usually during the times when I don't have to study, I can just call them and then they can give me work. So in that sense, it's not really hard to balance because um, I can work as much as I want and they're always happy to have me there. But I would imagine if you don't have this flexible schedule with your employee, then you would just have to, um, well, you have to put your studies first, but then you would just have to, I don't know, study at some um, less convenient times to make up for the time you have to work for. I would say it's a very, very diverse city. Uh, there's people from everywhere, like all around the world. Um, you can meet a lot of new people. The city is really like rich in culture. It's rich in history, and it has a really nice spirit and vibe around it. So I would say it's a, it's a very, it's a very nice city to to live in. I would say um, there's pretty much whatever you want to do, you can do here. So my number one tip would be to not to just work hard, but to be persistent and to work diligently. So in that sense, you're you're going to succeed in what you're trying to do.